Okay, we are now ready to knit. I have finished casting on some stitches onto my right needle. So once again, we were doing the long tail cast on. So you end up with the stitches in this hand on this needle. We're gonna switch hands and the empty needle is gonna be in your right hand and the needle you're going to be knitting the stitches off of will be in your left hand. Get those stitches a little closer to the tip because you're gonna work each one and pass it from this needle to this needle. So you want them to be uh, close to the tip of the needle. Again, put your ball of yarn on the right to keep it out of your way and be sure to not accidentally work with your tail. So here's the knit stitch. We're gonna go into the first stitch from the front out the back. And again, we're only in that first stitch. Don't accidentally go in between the stitches. You wanna go right through that first one. You're gonna hold these needles in this uh, sort of crisscross shape and we're gonna wrap the back needle counterclockwise or like a U-turn around it. And then we're gonna slide this right needle down until we can push this stitch down and through. This is your new stitch and your old one comes off the left needle. Let's do it again on the next stitch from the front out the back. We're gonna wrap this back needle. And just to show you, this is what you've got. You have two needles in this one stitch and this yarn is in between them. We're gonna use this needle to push that yarn down and through the loop, and then your old stitch can come off. So in the front, wrap, bring it down through, and the old one comes off. Let's do that one more time. In the front, wrap the back needle, and then bring the needle and that stitch down through the loop, and the old one comes off and that is the knit stitch. Okay, I am at the end of my row and I wanted to show you a very common mistake that beginner knitters make so that you know to keep your eye out for it and not make the same mistake. When you knit to the end of the row and you turn to start back the next row, oftentimes that last stitch will be a little more loose. And so what you'll do as a newer knitter is you might tug on this yarn because it makes everything look tight and neat. But what you actually do when you tug on that yarn is you bring the stitch that was supposed to be down here up and over the needle and it adds an extra loop. So you end up gradually increasing your fabric as you knit. So the, the best practice is at the end of every row is to pull your fabric down, not your, your yarn. You wanna pull on your fabric because it'll help you see that loop at the base of every single stitch. And then you can see that this, this loop here doesn't belong up over the needle. It belongs right there next to all of its friends. And this is the first stitch you're gonna knit. To double check that you have the right stitch to knit, just kind of pull on it and make sure it is directly attached to that ball yarn. And that's how you know that it's the correct one to knit again. So let me show you one more time the knit stitch at the beginning of the row, and then we'll move on to the purl stitch in our next video. So you're gonna again go into the stitch from the front and out the back. You're gonna wrap that back needle and you're gonna use that needle as your tool to push that strand down through the hole and up, and then your old stitch comes off the left needle. And that is the knit stitch.